We live in a virtual reality simulation. Quantum tunneling proves it. This page on azoquantum.com describes what quantum tunneling is and essentially why it makes no sense according to classical physics. The quantum tunneling effect is, as the name suggests, a quantum phenomenon which occurs when particles move through a barrier that should be impossible to move through according to classical physics. The barrier can be a physically impassable medium, like an insulator or a vacuum, or it can be a region of high potential energy. To illustrate this point, I'm going to play a video, What is Quantum Tunneling? by Minute Physics, and pause it periodically to comment. Suppose you drop a ball down the side of a valley. Classical wisdom tells us that when the ball rolls up the hill on the other side, it can't go any higher than the height from which you dropped it. That's conservation of energy. Even if there's a nice big long slope to roll down on the far side of the mountain, the ball just can't get there, unless you give it enough energy to get over the barrier. But in quantum mechanics, things work a little differently. You see, the quantum world is probabilistic, so if you release a particle in a valley, chances are the next time you see it, it'll still be somewhere in that valley. But if there's a nice big slope to roll down on the far side of the mountain, well, that's a place the particle would really like to be. And it turns out, there's also a small chance that's where you'll find it. So that's the crux of quantum tunneling. This is a good example because we all know that in a physical world, a person drops a ball. There's no way that it will go up and over this without additional force behind it. So you could drop a million balls here, a billion balls, what have you, and it will never ever go over this according to our common understanding or beliefs. But at the quantum level, we show that this does happen with consistency. So if you just scaled this whole thing down to extremely tiny particle level, this happens quite regularly where things have probabilities assigned to them. For example, even though we know this is physically impossible, the chance of a ball being dropped here and somehow go over this, which would be considered an impassable barrier, would, would be, let's just say, 4 billion to 1. Because 4 billion to 1 means essentially it never happens. Who can, you know, is anyone going to be able to test this out 4 billion times to see? Well, on the quantum level, you can test that with consistency. And what, what is found is that tiny particles, which are pieces of matter, just like a ball scaled down, with consistency and regularity of extremely low probability of it occurring, it does occur. So if you run billions and billions of these tests, you get a handful of particles over here when there is no possible way, according to classical physics, that that could happen. If this isn't crazy enough, it's even possible you'll find the particle in the middle of the mountain. And in real life, this means that an electron sometimes hangs around inside the nucleus of an atom. So you'll find them in the darndest places, and that doesn't have anything to do with any physical particles hanging out or wanting to jump to any place like that. It has to do with us living in a non-physical, probabilistic virtual reality where our reality is computed by an outside source or a source that is around us. And that is the only reason why things of this nature can happen. There's not anything physical going on. It simply has to do with probabilities or probability distribution. Um, if things happen one in a trillion times, well, they happen. And according to physics, that's impossible. There's no way to explain it. Um, but with quantum physics, it is the name of the game.